day everyone, it's uh, Warren here from NQ Explorers. Uh, I've been asked by Garrett Australia to just uh, give a, a brief run through on um, the AT Pro International uh, metal detector here today and uh, its relevance to uh, what we do here in Australia and what we look for in Australia and Australian conditions. This machine is the international version of uh, the AT Pro which is only marketed in the US. This is, we get the international version here. Um, the difference being that uh, we've got metric depths on there and we haven't got any US coin designations on the top, it's just ferrous, non-ferrous and you've got uh, silver, gold and bronze displayed there and uh, your iron on the lower end and you've got a target ID range. Um, the other thing about the machine is that uh, it comes with a standard uh, double D coil which is great for our soil conditions. Um, you've got a manual ground balance if you wish to go that way but you've got a really great uh, auto ground balance. Uh, so you can balance this thing, you can, you can be up on dry sand beaches you can go into the wet sand, you re-ground balance and it will be smooth as silk in the wet sand. So you can actually use this machine on the wet sand, the dry sand. Uh, you can actually go into the water, down to three metres depth, you can get uh, waterproof headphones with the thing. Um, and you can use it in parks and out here in the bush and typically, on, like this, I'm in an old ghost town today, um, you get mineralised ground here, you, got, you need a machine that you can manually, uh, you can use an automatic ground balance or you can manually ground balance if that's, your, if that's what you'd like to do. Um, and you'll have no trouble working in these conditions with that double D coil and that auto ground balance. And what I'm going to do now is just show you a quick run through on some of the typical targets you're going to get. Uh, the difference here is you've got this target ID, which is great. You get a digital target ID. You very quickly learn. You can test it at home yourself. If you've got one of these machines or you purchase one, uh, if, you, if your passion is uh, the old pre-decimal coins, the silvers and the old uh, pennies, they will give a distinct and constant target ID on this machine. You can, you can know pretty much that it, if you're getting a small size target and it's got a good high tone and you've got a, a constant 86, 87, it's going to be a penny, a kangaroo penny or something like that. So you'll quickly learn how our coins uh, register on this machine and uh, that's another um, aid to whether you dig a target or you don't because you're going to know uh, it's just a little bit more information that's really handy. The beauty of this too is that you can, this machine grows with you as you get further into the hobby. Switch on and go if you like in the standard mode. The three standard modes is a, uh, is a factory uh, preset on coins which has iron discriminated out of the bottom and you've got a gap, bit of a gap there where the ring pulls come in that plague us in the parks. You don't want to be digging those up. Uh, you've got zero which uh, has no uh, minimum iron discrimination and you can customise the notches however you like. Then there's three more modes once you get into professional mode as you get more confidence with the machine and uh, uh, you uh, more experience. You can run it in professional mode, you've got tone rail audio and you definitely get greater depth with uh, pro mode and um, it's much more sensitive. So there's so many features in this machine, you can hunt all your life in uh, standard if you like and then if that's what suits you, but if you want to use this machine's advanced features, they're all there at any time if you want to use them. So what I'll do now, I'll just demonstrate a few things. Uh, I've got an, uh, an, a ferrous item, uh, a mid-tone item which is typical of ring pull rubbish, uh, I've got aluminium foil, it's an old chewing gum wrapper, and a $2 coin which is going to ring up high. So all the Australian coins will, uh, will register on this machine in coins mode. If I don't operate in coins mode, there is a risk that a 50% threepence, for example, if you're looking for pre-decimals. If it's at a funny angle in the soil, such a tiny coin, lower conductivity, it may just bump off the end of the notch and you'll miss it. It'll be in that gap in the coins mode, so I don't use that, I customise the mode. Just drop the iron off the bottom and dig everything on a high tone. But I'll just demonstrate these three items now and uh, we'll have a look at the target IDs we get from them. Okay, the first one I'll demonstrate, I've got an iron item here, it's an old square nail. And just, this is a demonstration of the low audio tone on the uh, ferrous end of the scale. So you get two bits of feedback there, you get a digital target ID. You get the audio, and actually the third piece of feedback, you get a notch up the top, which is uh, matched to the target ID, uh, which is displayed as numerically. Okay, the next item is a uh, demonstration on the mid-tone. Uh, this is a piece of aluminium foil, and you get a similar response from a ring pull. And here that's a higher audio tone than we've got on the uh, square iron nail. And I'm getting a solid target ID there up in the 40s mid-range numbers, mid-range audio. That's aluminium foil. Okay, the next item is a two dollar coin. You're going to get a high tone out of this and a high target ID. That's dead solid 75 on a two dollar coin. 
and the cursor is uh, indicating 75 on the top of the scale. And you get the high tones. There's three, uh, you get three pieces of feedback there on that target, which governs your decision whether to dig it or not. So that's the high tone. Okay, just one additional item we'll show you, uh, other than those first uh, low, medium, high tones, is uh, the iron audio function on a target that's going to be typically found all over the place, and which is a modern uh, beer bottle top or soft drink top. Um, this is going to sound like a coin because it's round and flat and a similar conductivity. So just listen to it with the iron audio off and uh, we'll listen to the target response. Nice high bell tone. It might be a coin. Uh, and you'd probably want to dig that, but if you check it with the iron audio, you'll get a low grunt on each edge of the coil, which will indicate that it isn't a coin, because that will never happen with a silver or a uh, bronze, copper, cooper or nickel coin, but it will happen with a bottle top. Get the grunting. Puts a bit of doubt in there, and so you, now you know that it isn't a clean target, and it is not a coin. It's more likely junk. That was with the iron audio on. It's a great feature, which allows you... Uh, a real versatility with this machine and it's just another little uh, tool you've got to make decisions about what targets you dig and uh, how much you find. Okay that's just a quick look at the uh, Garrett AT Pro International all-terrain detector. Rugged machine, fully waterproof, dust proof, drop proof, All because I know I've dropped them and I've been in dust and I've been in water and they work. Um, beauty of this thing is it's a true professional relic hunters machine. You can start out as a beginner on this thing in uh, standard mode but as you grow into the hobby this thing has got all the features that you need uh, and, and gives so much feedback on a target. You can feel around the target and you've got that much coming back at you in the pro mode that uh, you can make an informed decision of whether you dig the target or not. It saves you a lot of time and you will get better coins and relics because you're getting so much information out of the machine. You can hunt in any environment you like, especially here in Australia where we get the mineralised ground. Double D coil, cuts through the mineralisation, you get great depth in pro mode. Uh, waterproof, weatherproof, it's ideal for our conditions which are pretty harsh. And uh, this machine um, really works well in Australia and uh, I've found plenty of stuff with it and I've never had any issues with uh, reliability or uh, durability.